Hello, my name is Bibi, and in this video, we're going to be knitting this. <laughs> so, if you watched my last knit along, we made this back panel, and in this video, I will be making this front shoulder piece. However, I think it's only fair to warn you that the first knit along video I made was kind of tutorial esque. This video. <laughs> is a lot more chaotic and that is because this front panel was so hard hello it's me the most future of the editing and or just bb bbs in this video i'm going to split this video into two sections because it is so chaotic that this is the only way I can think to organize it. So the first section, I will go through how I did the left side. I did this side incorrectly. It was really chaotic, um, but I will let past BBs tell you all about that. And then in the second section, I will talk about the right side, which at this moment is about this big. I have figured out how to do this correctly, as in I'm following the pattern normally. For this if you're looking for a tutorial the right side will probably be more helpful and if you use some of the methods i used on the right side on the left side it should work that's the overview i'm gonna use some editing magic to make this work hopefully okay before we get into those two sections i am gonna let this bb tell you kind of a general overview of what part of the pattern we're at and some not so pro tips As a general overview, what you are working on now in the pattern is making the left front and the right front pieces. So these will be from the back down your shoulder into the v-neck in the front. For both of these sides, what you want to make sure that you're doing is increasing on the side where the neckline is. So you want to make sure that you're not increasing on the straight line that would be into your armpit. <laughs> but that you're increasing into your chest. <laughs> Always increase where the neckline is and never increase where the straight, thick, thick cable is. So that's number, thing number one. The second thing you wanna note is that you want the cables to match from the back going into the shoulder piece. You're making the same big cable here and then the little cable here, the four, the big cable, the little one, and then this will increase out. So you want to make sure that you're matching and lining up those stitches to match the pattern. So for example, on the side that I just picked up, I want to make sure that I have 13 stitches here that is lining up with the big one, 12 stitches here that is lining up with the big one, and then that this four cable is lined up with another four cable, and that this mock cable is lined up with a mock cable. It's especially important that you don't flip the pattern and accidentally do these 12 over here, because then everything will be reversed. I have finished the first two patterns. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to start picking up the shoulder sections here, at least the left shoulder and possibly the right. But they should be an exact replica. The next instruction is to break the yarn and leave the stitches on hold, either using a stitch holder or waste yarn while working the front section. So what I'm going to do is change these needles to a bigger size and just leave them on, on this and I will cut the yarn and then I will get back to you. All right, so we put it on either a different string or new needles or however you want to save your stitches that you've just worked and we've cut the yarn so we can let those rest so what the pattern says to do next <laughs> is that we are going to pick up the stitches on this left shoulder and it says for my size to pick up 44 beginning at the neck beginning at the top here and working down to yeah just psa for future bb picking up with my working yarn from the top to the bottom not work for me. Picking up stitches is probably my least favorite thing, so um, I always try to get a guesstimate of halfway. These are my stitch markers, which I just got off Amazon, just as a sidetrack. Look at how beautiful they are. I'm kind of obsessed with them, but basically what I have started to do 
what I have to increase is I will take a stitch marker, a little fold the work so that I can get approximately half. I'll put a stitch marker there and that's when I know that I should be at that point at 22. So I should be halfway through. It's not exactly foolproof and it's not exactly perfect, um, but it does give me a way that makes me feel a little bit better. So let's start picking up stitches on this edge. I'm going to link a video below on how to pick up stitches, but basically you see at the top of your work, um, you have little V's and you want to insert your needle to pick up both sides of the V. You see how there's two strands here? And then you want to take your yarn, wrap it around the needle, and then pull it through. And you basically just do this in every V, so we went through that V. We have 44 stitches cast on. So the first side is a wrong side row, which means we're gonna be on the back side of our work and working up towards the neck. So as you can tell from this clip, I am working the pattern the wrong way. Um, if you can tell, I've worked that 13 stitch and then two and then two and then two, um, but the cables beneath it don't match that. Also in this clip, I'm increasing on the wrong side, um, so I'm increasing towards the armpit and not towards the neckline. All right, somehow we've made a mistake. Not us, I've made a mistake. So this is the left side shoulder. We're supposed to be working increases upon the neck, I believe. Uh, to make that V shape in the front of the sweater, but I just increased down here where the body is. It's just completely reversed, so I'm going to undo it, get back to where I added stitches. I'm pretty sure I just added stitches from the wrong direction. Like, we should have started picking up, instead of picking up at the neck, we should have started picking up here. So, after re-watching all of this footage and looking at the pattern more intently, I actually think that the problem is that I just read the pattern backwards. Like, you're supposed to start reading from the left to the right, and I started reading from the right to the left. So, I actually think that the way I cast on the first time on this left shoulder would have worked if I was reading the pattern correctly. All right, so I've undone those two rows and we're back at as if we had just um, added all these stitches and we're working the first wrong side row. Again, we worked this way from the body up to the neckline and that was wrong. Yeah, instead of wrong, what I meant to say is that was backwards, but too little too late now. <laughs> But since I firmly believed it to be wrong, I am about to completely undo everything I just did. Okay, we're back at square one. So last time I picked up stitches starting here down. We're going to pick up stitches from our stitch marker up to the shoulder and see if that works. Okay, so I'm working again the first row and it does seem to be working better like I have two pearls here that would line up with that and this would line up with the mock cable. The only problem, the first row is supposed to be a wrong side row um, and I'm on the right side and working it as a right side row. So somehow I have it flipped. Since I believe that this will still work, I'm going to work the first row as if it is a right side row and kind of just flip them in my head. That might not be the best move. I'm gonna work a few rows and see if it works. And if it doesn't, then we will try again. Okay, technically we can make my mistake work by adding an extra row and then just kind of reading the pattern intuitively. Um, but I, I just am really trying these days to do things accurately the first time. So I am going to go back, undo everything. Again. Pick up the stitches from this end to this end, but instead of coming in from the wrong side, I'm gonna come in, insert the needle from the right side and see if that works, because then when I flip, right, I'll be on the wrong side? Nope. It didn't matter if I inserted my needle coming from the wrong side or the right side, I've ended up at the same place. So we're gonna try a different tactic this I feel like this is genuinely embarrassing. Cabling these cable needles, or these um, mock cables, and see what happens. 
Okay, so I've marked the second row as a wrong side row because I'm on the wrong side, but I'm also at the neckline, which means we want to increase so that this goes in. Yes, we want to increase so this goes in. So basically, um, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to do this for a few rows working almost like reverse of what the pattern says uh, and doing the cables when it says to and just seeing if this works. I'm going to do this for a lot of rows, probably like half of the pattern and get back to you and see if it, my chaos and my chaos method worked. <laughs> According to my handy dandy row counter, I've done four rows, which would put me on row five but row five in the pattern is a wrong side row. How I am doing it is basically looking at row six, working that row, and then going back and working row five next. I'm going to do that <laughs> for the rest of this shoulder portion. Let's see if it works on this chart. Not a place online I can check. There's not a video tutorial. There's, there's really nothing to guide me, so I'm kind of just winging it. We're just doing our best. <laughs> so this BB is going to give you an overview of how I ended up working that side, which you've sort of seen the method, but um, it did work, except that I am a single row behind on the left side. Basically what that means is that the first row I work is actually row two on the chart, and then I go back and do row one, and then I work row four, and then I go back and do three, and then six and then go back and do five um so it's a little bit chaotic <laughs> hello realized as i was just happily knitting along that um it wasn't working so apparently the chaos method that i used that worked on the left side isn't working on the right side um probably because patterns don't like to just be blatantly <laughs> disrespected so I'll show you what I mean. Basically, the left side, even though I was um, working the wrong row sequence, I was still working the right direction. And you can see that because the cables are also the right direction. On this side, not only was I working the wrong row, but I was working backwards. So like on a right row, I would have to read the pattern in reverse. And I was trying to just do the opposite of what it said with the cables but it just wasn't it doesn't work so i realized there is one cast on method that i completely forgot about but remembered this morning and i'm going to try that on the right side every time i've been casting on in this video i have been casting on with the working yarn so the yarn that's connected to the ball of yarn but can do what i think is called the long tail method I think. So, there is a thing, the long tail cast on method. That's a thing for when you're beginning to knit a project and you want to cast on. I use that term for the rest of the video. The long tail method, the short tail method, I call it like three different things in this video. I'm all, all I'm talking about is the same thing where you pick up stitches not using your working yarn. I'm gonna undo all this knitting. And then I will cast on using the short tail method and see if that is what the pattern is, has you do. All right, as much as it pains to say me, we're back at square one. This is the right front. So the pattern says, begin at the shoulder marker. So that's here and finish at the neck. So that's up here. It does not say to use the long tail method but we're gonna try that anyway so instead of picking up from where my yarn is basically that would be this way i am going to pick up towards this long strand you want to make sure to do a strand that's like double the length of what you're trying to cast on I'm gonna try casting on with um, not the working yarn from the other direction and see if that solves the problem. What? <laughs> so 
I am finally working the wrong side on the first row. But it's not the right, it's still not the right direction of the pattern because according to the pattern, the first thing you should do is this knot. Yeah, this isn't the right direction because I flipped the pattern <laughs> by casting on opposite of how the pattern told me to cast on. The first thing I would be doing is this. So I'm trying to think if that's okay. What happened? Is the second row, the second row would also be reversed, which would mean the cables will be wrong again, I think. This is me very concernedly knitting until I realized that maybe, just maybe, it was working. I genuinely don't know how. I don't remember how I got here. <laughs> but this is working. The pattern I somehow have gotten to work with me. Editing BB, if you could just give a rundown of how we got here while I knit in silence, that would be great. So what the pattern says to do is to pick up starting at your shoulder marker up to the neckline and then work the first row on the wrong side. And if you read the chart correctly, that does work. What I did is I picked up my stitches not using my working yarn and picked up from the neckline to the shoulder and then started working the chart. Basically, I just reversed, <laughs> but my reversed things canceled out and eventually I realized it was just a matter of me reading the charts incorrectly. Cool. I will say that it's like- I forgot how to knit. When I was trying to figure this out because reading patterns, just like how to do that exited my brain. Especially charts. Reading back and forth, it's like I just forgot how the dynamics of that worked, which is honestly embarrassing for someone who's knit as long as I have, but it's also fine. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. This is where I am in the chart. I have to finish more of this right side. I probably will. I probably will go back and undo this left shoulder because I am a row behind and that could be problematic for the next step. So thank you for watching this chaos. Please read your patterns and charts more carefully than I do. And I will see you guys next time you're feeling crafty. Bye.